All right. Um, I do like to look at the card at the bottom of the deck, um, but I, I really, when I was cutting the cards, both of these cards were kind of, kind of um, trying to come out. It was, it was really, it was really bizarre. I kind of wish I had um, filmed that because you would know what I was talking about. Uh, but it really did seem weird. Um, the, <clears throat> first, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, in the upright, this is working hard at your craft, right? Uh, this is skilled labor, being really good at it, and being very productive, kind of like you're working on yourself right now, and you're kind of uh, making sure that your material foundation is stable. In the reverse, however, uh, this may be that there's difficulty in manifesting, Um maybe there's something that's that's kind of going on with that maybe right now um, you've been spending too much uh, maybe you're you're kind of struggling uh, if you're unemployed maybe it's that you're struggling to find work or maybe you're just not finding work that you like or that you feel compelled to be doing um, the other card is the uh, four of Pentacles and this is kind of a um, kind of a miserly energy. I, I want to say chintzy, but I, I don't know what that word means exactly. Like, I don't know the root of chintzy, so I hate to say words that I don't really, I don't really understand. But um, in, in this, the person's holding on really, really tightly. I mean, like, he's got his feet here. He's gripping that. That one shoved into his crown and those little whatever they are. The, they look like cogwheels in a crown. I don't even know. But anyhow, he's he's kind of holding on real tight for his money. And, and again, this tells me that some of you uh, may be unemployed or maybe struggling with work or maybe you're anticipating some sort of uh, job loss or a financial loss. Maybe your partner um, is is having a financial hardship or or something like that. And so you're, you're really trying to tighten your belt. Uh, Libra tends to be a very rational sign. Uh, they're an air sign, of course. And, um, you know, if, if this is going wrong, then most likely this is occurring because you're really, you, you guys are independent minded. You don't, you don't want to be living off of somebody else. And so you're trying to hold on to your coin so that you don't find yourself um, struggling at the end of the month here. Um, but, you know, let's see if this energy is going to pass for you anytime soon. Uh, our first card here, the one that's covering you, this is sort of the energy that you're operating in right now. Uh, that would be the two of pentacles. So again, we're looking at some, some, uh, financial issues. This is about making choices. You'll notice that it looks kind of topsy turvy here for the boats. There's a lot of um, emotions maybe under the surface here and, and a lack of clarity. But this person here is trying to find the balance, right? They're trying to find or strike some kind of a balance. But in this duality, there can also be a sense of choice. This, this looks like a Libra card to me. Sometimes it's Gemini because of their duality as well. But this card could be either Gemini or Libra. So right now, since we are doing the Libra reading, that's that's kind of how I'm feeling it. Is this is you and you're you're trying to make some kind of a decision pertaining to money, finances, economic stability, and the like, right? Now, <clears throat> crossing you in reverse, we see the High Priestess card. The the High Priestess card, um, she's kind of associated with the sign of Virgo, but there's a balance to her that also makes me scream Libra a little bit. And then, you know, she's got these pomegranates. So again, that's kind of feminine and sort of Virgo energy. Um, but, you know, black and white, yin and yang. Um, this is that sense of balance that we get, again, from a Libra as well. So I, I don't want to rule out Libra with this card, although it's usually associated with Virgo. But... In the upright, she's somebody who's very intuitive. She knows what's going on. She's got a clear sense of, of things, whether even the unseen is quite clear for her. In the reverse, however, this is a person who's not in touch with their intuition, who's not really connecting uh, with source, who's, who's maybe in a state of confusion. They don't really know what's going on. Things are hidden from them. Things are deceptive. And they really, um, given these things, it's I almost feel like... Um, You've got some kind of a decision. You're trying to maintain some sort of a balance in your life, but your usual intuitive self is is struggling to connect with your intuition and that this is creating a problem for you because the information is just not there for you to be able to make do with. And it's kind of throwing you off balance, kind of throwing you off balance. This is a weird state for you to be in. It's not your comfort zone. It's really not comfortable for you. We may see some beautiful prisms on, or um, rainbows on the table because I got a prism in the window and it's sunny out right now. I don't know what kind of a weirdo I am doing readings when I should be out in the sunshine, but whatever. Anyhow, uh, crowning you. This this is kind of what's on your mind, what you're thinking about, um, or what may come into pass. This is strength in the reverse. 
look at this. We got that. I'm going to say this word wrong. It's a lumniscate. Lumniscate, Lumniscot, whatever. But anyhow, it's this, uh, this eternity symbol, you know, the figure eight on its side. And we saw this, of course, in this card here as well. This is really about um, not even so much the physical quality of strength, but this really has to do with um, kind of the gentle, calm strength, the internal strength, the character strength. Could be a Leo. You know, for some of you, you may be trying to make a decision about a Leo. And you're not really sure. You think the Leo's maybe not even into you. And you wish you knew, but your intuition's so whacked, you can't even really read it. And you're not sure. You're like, does she like me? Does she not like me? Or he, I guess. Hmm. We'll see. Let's see what the other cards have to say. Maybe some will pop in. But um, <clears throat> in the sense that that has not yet come to pass, it could be that you're kind of worried about that a little bit. Maybe you're thinking that you're... you're you're feeling weak or that you're coming from a weak place right now and that you don't have the information that you really need. And now both the high priestess and the strength card over there, both of those cards are uh, major arcana cards. So those are about spiritual issues and questions. And you're not quite sure about that, right? You're not really quite sure about that or, or what to do with it. Uh, now beneath you, we have the page of swords. This could be a communication coming in. This could be email. This could be, you know, a text message. This could be a snail mail letter, something coming in. Or this could be a young person, maybe a child of yours, a younger brother or sister, right? An air sign like yourself. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it could simply just be a situation that um, there's some kind of a, a communication or something that would be coming in. Maybe that's what's got you so screwed up right now right? Or maybe it hasn't quite yet come in. Usually beneath you, that's something that you already have at the time of the reading. Uh, but that might not be the case right here. You know, let, I'm going to keep reading on and maybe the page of swords will make a little bit more sense as we go on. Uh, behind you, uh, I, I, I do want to put that caveat. I was, I, I lay out the 10 card spread, the, the Celtic cross, um, a little bit differently. My, these two cards here are the reverse of what a lot of other people, how a lot of other people read them. Um, so if you do read, uh, please don't let that confuse you. <clears throat> um, this card is in the reverse, but, you know, in the upright, this is a person. This is actually like the old maid card, they call that in some some of the books. But um, this is about the person who's so fussy that they never really get into a relationship. Um, this could be the offer coming in that you don't want. You're not even looking at that. You're like, Ugh, whatever. There's other stuff over here. Right now, this is in the reverse. So it could be that you've accepted the offer that's coming in. This is in your past tense or about to be in your past tense. So it could be kind of in your current situation. Maybe this offer has finally come in and that's why you're indecisive because you're not really sure what to do about it. Right. They made this offer and here's this message coming in and you're not quite sure what to do about it. And, and you're trying to, to uh, talk to your intuition, but it's not really coming in. Maybe somebody gave you a message about a Leo and you didn't really like it. And you think you might have to cut out that Leo. And this here is about cutting out some sort of a negative person. Maybe not. Again, this is a general reading, so it can go, you know, different ways for different people. Now, this Ace of Wands here. <clears throat> in the upright, we, we like to see it in the upright. This is about something passionate coming in, a communication coming in, something exciting. This is about... Um, getting that that excitement i almost wonder if you found out something about that leo that you were into and you don't kind of like it you really don't want to go forward with that relationship or the offer of the relationship or that new start with that person or information came in about a career opportunity since you are kind of in a financial strait or no, I'm, I'm sorry that was the last reading but um if you are dealing with well I mean, you know, again, it, it, this could be a career offer that came in or didn't come in and that it's not going to get off the ground or get started. And you're thinking you need to draw on your inner strength to make it happen. Um, in the reverse, the card representing you, that's that. This is the soulmate card. You really want to see that. And again, we're looking at another lion, right? I want to see these in the upright for you, Libra. I really do. I really want to see those in the upright, but they're both reversed. Some of you may have been trying to make a start with a Leo and it's not happening. 
or it was a, or a, if this was even about a career, it was something that you really, really had your heart and soul into, that you really were into. This, though, this is you. This is to come. This is not getting off the ground. Whatever it was that you were hoping with that person, something came in, some information came in. You know, maybe it is that you, you've got an air sign friend that was telling you, mm, you know what, she's taken, she's got somebody else, or um, she's not a she's not the kind of person you want to be with. So this is kind of this energy right here. But I feel like you're still undecided. Maybe because this information hasn't come through 100% yet. But you're thinking it's not going to get off the ground with that person. But you're kind of hoping at the same time. You really want some clarity. When you're feeling clouded and confused, you're not quite sure. This card is about being left out in the cold. These guys here... They're cold. There's something beautiful going on on the other side of that building, inside the window. But notice, too, that they're, they're noticing their lack to a degree. They don't even see the beautiful window they're walking by, which isn't going to warm them, but it still might be something kind of nice, even a fringe benefit. I'm not trying to pick on them, believe me. This is the environment. I'm seeing these crutches right now on this person, and I've never really paid attention to that. But I'm almost wondering if this Leo here, or whatever person this is that's in the reverse for you, or this energy, I'm almost wondering if they don't have some kind of a crutch. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this person drinks or uses drugs or some stuff, and you're not into it. And that's why you're thinking, wait a minute, I need more information to go on before I can really make a decision. That's kind of what it, what it feels like. I need more information here before I can make a decision. I'm not really sure. Does she, I'm not sure if my gut is telling me she's got, uh, or he, or whoever. I'm not sure if this person's got a substance abuse problem, or if I'm just afraid that they might have, because I'm not trying to have that, or whatever. Maybe that's why these cups are in reverse, right? There's something wrong in them. I don't know, we'll see. Your hopes and fears. And I do honestly think that sometimes the things that we hope for are the very things that we fear the most, and vice versa. Um, but in the upright, this would be about deception and, and all kinds of things like that. This is clarity here, right? You also notice that, you know, there's a dog and there's a wolf or a coyote or whatever. Now, the moon, moon card can indicate cancer or Pisces. This is a crab here, but um, which is a sign of cancer. But also, the, the moon is the planetary ruler of the sign of cancer as well. We're in the sign of cancer right now. Um, so this could have a timing element with it. Again, we see a lot of duality in these major arcana cards of yours, right? We got a lot of duality in general. As a Libra, you may be struggling to find that kind of a balance and finding yourself sort of off kilter. That's, again, with the high priestess and her two pillars right there and that uh, the two of coins over here and his little dance he's doing. This is in the reverse, which can mean clarity and coming out of a place of deception or illusion or psychosis or, or what have you right? Maybe you're finding out some kind of information about this person. You fear having more information. You want to get it off the ground with this person. You want to turn this right side up, but this information is going to kill it for you because whatever this baggage is that these people have, you don't want it. You don't want to take it on. Now, for some of you, this is a business reading. You know, we were starting off with some kind of um, with the pentacle suits, right? The coins. But coins can be about material stuff too, like a house, a home, the actual physical structure, the edifice of a house or home, right? Having a marriage type of relationship. Uh, yes, there's the love and the cups and the joy that come with that, like in the upright two of coins. But there's also the part where we have a brick and mortar home that we live in. So there's that. So maybe for you, it's about, it's not going to happen. Or there's a sense of being left out on the cold. If this was your job experience, this is this job offer coming in. Either you didn't want it or the job offer didn't come in. You got a communication of a sort, maybe even an email saying, thank you, we've chosen somebody else for the position. And you're feeling left out in the cold of that business opportunity, the business opportunity that you really felt that you wanted. And therefore, it never got started. Your passion pursuit never got started. Again, this could be business or romantic relationship. Take it as it applies, right? But either way, you're fearing the kind of clarity that you need. You know, when we know something, 
I, I mean, I tell my clients, I, I can handle anything as long as it's true. I should say almost anything. I can handle almost anything as long as it's true. I'm talking verbal, right? When we have the information we need, we can make a decision. That's why you're stuck in this, this reversed high priestess energy. Because true story, the reversed high priestess coordinates with the upright moon. But you're hoping and fearing for this clarity, which would actually turn your high priestess over for you into an upright state of mind. It would give you the ability to make the decision that you need, that you're feeling kind of twisted up about. Look at the, look at the high water over here. We don't have any weather coming in, but we've certainly got some emotional stirring under here. <laughs> some of these cars, they got the Loch Ness Monster coming out. It's pretty funny. But... Don't fear the clarity because when you know what time it is, you can address it, you can deal with it. it it's when you're cloudy and when the moon is, is in the upright and the deception from other people and the illusion and you're not seeing things for what they are, then you don't know how to act. And you can get stuck that way in that lack of activity. That's actually worse, right? Um, so your last card here is the hangman. The hangman is about, again, trying to restore yourself to balance, going within, journaling, talking to friends, you know, talk to a therapist if you need some objective advice or they, they don't really give advice or per se, at least you're not supposed to, but they may help you. Um, they may help you discover some options or something that would work for you. Um, you need to allow yourself this hanged man moment here so that you can seek the clarity and turn this over and allow yourself to let go of your fear of the moon in reverse and to celebrate it because this will actually enable you to manifest what it is that you really, really want, right? This, this other card on the bottom of the deck, I'm going to bring it out. I wasn't going to. Check this out, though. The wish card in reverse. The nine of cups is about the wish. That's the wish fulfillment. Look how smug this fat guy is. Because it's symbolic, right? In medi medieval times, people who were chubby like that were well-fed. They were wealthy. This is about having everything you want. This is the wish card, but it's in reverse. If this, if this reading for you, whether it's about employment or whether it's about romance, you're not getting what you want in the immediate. But, again, look at this next card. The Knight of Cups in the upright. That wish card. Or, or excuse me, that love offering coming in. Something positive coming in for you, right? So that's something to be celebrating. We got that Knight of Cups card that will be coming in. So remember that sometimes when we close one door, it's so that we can open another one, right? That there's something else out there that's a better fit for you. Yeah, that person may be great. Maybe there isn't any kind of an addiction. Maybe it's just not fitting in with her people or... You know, something like that. Or I don't know why I keep saying her. I'm, I'm pretty, um, what's that? Um, they, they call it heterosexist. I'm pretty homosexist, so I do apologize for that. It comes out sometimes in my readings when I'm not thinking. But regardless, whatever the sex you're, you're interested in, um, it doesn't really matter. It, th this is kind of about that energy for you, you know, so in finding a good fit for whoever you are and, and whatever you need. But sometimes we have to clear out the people we have to clear them out. You just sort of hack it away here. Clear that person out who's not for us because somebody else can be coming in. I want to say somebody better, but I really do mean a better fit for you. You know, they say for every nut, there's a screw. At least I say that. I don't know. 